In this video, we're going to take a look at using the slope formula. First of all, it'd be good to know what the slope formula is, so let's bring that in. Remember that what m is our slope, what we use for slope, and how we find the slope is we take the difference in the y values over the difference in the x values. And sometimes people get a little bit caught up in this y sub 2, y sub 1 stuff. The key is that we have the ordered pairs, the values from the ordered pairs, in the same order. So if we decide to take the y from one ordered pair, we need to take the x first from that ordered pair as well. So let's take a look at some examples of working with the slope formula. Okay, so here's my first ordered pair, our, our set of ordered pairs. Remember that each ordered pair is just an x and a y value. Let me get that out of here. Each ordered pair is just an x and a y value. So x, y, and x, y would be both those ordered pairs. And the sub 2 and the sub 1 are really just saying we have two different ordered pairs Okay, to find the slope. So I have two different ordered pairs here. And I'm going to take this y value first and then this y value. So I'm going to have m is equal to... 2 minus, or excuse me, 1 minus 2 over 3 minus 9, okay? Now notice, the ordered pairs match up vertically here. I have 3, 1, which is that, and then 9, 2, which is the second one. If I were to flip either of those, I would need to flip the other ones, okay? So I can simplify this, so we have 1 minus 2 would be negative 1, over 3 minus 9 would be negative 6, which would simplify to 1 6. Okay, now you might say, well, what if I did it the other way? Well, let's try it. What if I were to take the second ordered pair's y value first? So 2 minus 1, so 2 minus 1, over 9 minus 3. Okay, so then 2 minus 1 is 1 over 9 minus 3 is 1 6. Hey, just what we got before. So it doesn't matter if you flip the order that you take the ordered pairs in, but the key, notice that the ordered pairs match up vertically. So they're sitting right here, 9, 2, and 3, 1. Those are exactly our ordered pairs. If I would change those around, I would get myself into trouble. Okay, so just to be clear on that, I'm going to go to red here because you don't want to do this. But if I were to take 2, 1, okay, so 2 minus 1, and then take 3 minus 9, okay, then we have 2 minus 1 is 1, and negative 6, which is just 1 over negative 6, they're negative 1, 6. Now notice. We, our ordered pairs that this is saying is 3, 2, and 9, 1. Wait, that's not what we had, okay? So we cannot do that. We have to make sure that our ordered pairs are matching up vertically and when we put a, them into the slope formula. Okay, so let's try this next one right here. And this one, again, it doesn't matter which y value you take first, just that you have to be consistent. So I'm gonna let's go with this one first. So I'll go negative one minus three over two minus negative two. Now, here's where we have to be careful as well. Minus a negative, remember, is the same as plus. So on top we have negative one minus three is negative four over 2 minus minus 2 is 2 plus 2, which is going to be 4. And negative 1 over 4 would simplify to just negative 1. Okay? And again, just to be clear here, let me do it the opposite way and show you that we're going to end up in the same place. So if I take this y value first, 3 minus negative 1 over negative 2 minus 2, so there's that minus a negative again, so that would be plus, so 3 plus 1 is 4, over 2 minus 2 would be negative 4, 
and that is also going to simplify to negative 1. Okay, so we end up in the same place. Just again, notice the ordered pairs, they're sitting there vertically. Okay, let's try this next one. In this one, again, doesn't matter which y you take first. Let's take this one. We'll go negative 3 minus 8 over 1 minus 2. Again, just being consistent. Ordered pairs matched up vertically. So negative 3 minus 8 would be negative 11 over 1 minus 2, which would be negative 1. So that would simplify to just 11. Okay? And let's take a look at this last one here. And for this one, let's start with the 0. So 0 minus negative 2 over negative 4 minus negative 6. Okay, and be careful when you're subtracting the negative. Remember that becomes plus. So we have 0 plus 2, which would be 2, over negative 4 plus 6. Let's see, negative 4 plus 6 would be positive 2, and that's going to simplify to just 1. Now, a couple things you want to be on the lookout for as you're finding the slope between two points. If you end up with a 0 on the top, well, 0 divided by anything, let me just change colors here and jot these things down. 0 divided by anything is just going to be 0. Okay, so if on top you end up with a 0, that's okay, we can have that. Now, if you end up with a 0 on the bottom, so let's say 5 over 0, well, that's undefined because remember we can't divide by 0 and so our slope in that situation is undefined. So be on the lookout for both those cases and it's okay, we can have 0 divided by a number, that's just 0, but if we divide by 0, end up with a 0 on the bottom, then it's undefined. So be on the lookout for those things. So, using the slope formula, here it is right here. Don't be thrown off or confused by the y sub 2, y sub 1. It's just saying that we have two different ordered pairs. We can take them in either order, as I demonstrated in these first couple. The key is that we are consistent. So if I choose this as my first y, then this needs to be my first x, and vice versa. Once we do that, we can simplify. When we get out the fraction, just simplify, and there we go. There's our slope. Hope this video was helpful. Keep working hard on your math. You can do it.